Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today, we're going to take a look at the Gridiron Studios Elite Operator Set. This thing is really small. This is going to be a really short video, but I got to say, if you got that Mezco Destro right there, this may be something that you want to get because it's really going to go nice with uh, your Destro. And it opens up there. There is really not too much to go over. Um, it does run... $28 so it is an expensive little thing but I do want to show you a couple things I have opened it up um, there's really not too much to show there I'd rather show you facing the camera or not not facing the camera I don't know what it is you know what I'm talking about hands in the camera how about that but anyway uh, if you like the content take a second hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification um, let's do this all right quick video here so this is the elite operator set now i have to say here full disclosure i have a few issues with this um so i think this looks really nice the design of the gridiron is on it everything looks really good but this is the first gridiron thing that i've had in hand that you can really tell that it's 3d printed and you kind of see the defects running through through here and anyone that's 3d printed will know th these types of lines now if you have a really good 3d printer you're not going to have too many issues like that but it's the back side that in my opinion it really stands out you can see how it's scraped up there so this is from kind of when it, it's going through but this is really the first signs that i had seen now other than that i think it looks really good the design of this is nice you got a handle that's going to move back and forth it closes pretty nicely, so you don't have to worry about that. And again, the whole design, the gridiron looks really good. The, the writing of the gridiron looks good. So, it opens up nice and easy. And they got a nice little sticker in there that's kind of going to just, I think, show you where everything's at. It has a little timer, so it's all the nice little details. Now, here is the canisters, and there's two of them, so they come out. And has a nice soft padding on the inside right here. So they fit in there. They don't just fall right out. So these canisters do open up. So you can see that it is actually black. And it's painted silver. So this will rub off. And this is where we're going to start seeing some defects here. So on the bottom here you can see where it's rubbed off. Now this does open up. So this comes out and you have what is supposed to be some sort of chemical compound or whatever that's probably going to explode, right? And then you have this, which looks pretty nice. And then it just kind of pops right down and it does hold on. So it stays up. And then when you push it down, it's perfectly fine. So it has a nice little handle there. You know, it's got some nice little detail around it. You can see where the paint starts to rub off, but it does clamp down. And on the back, there's some air vents, which you can see here. Probably get it this way. There's holes there. So, but here's my problem. And, well, this is another issue that I kind of have with it. So, you kind of saw the paint defects, the paint, the paint app issues. I showed you where the 3D printing is. So, this came out like this. Well, this piece here is broken. So nothing was done. It just kind of broke right off well, when I went to pull this out. Again, I like the color and everything, but this is a very expensive pack, uh, $28, and it's not going to include shipping. And this is broken right away. Now, it would be easy enough to just take a little bit of glue and glue it back together, and you'd never even know. But again, I mentioned before, for the price of these, this is stuff that I don't want to have to worry about and things I don't think that you should have to worry about. Um, so as cool as this is, and I think that it really, really does complement your Mezco Destro. So imagine you have this and then you have this here, right? Which you can turn on or you can put the guns in it. You just have like two really nice little briefcases that's going to hold some sort of weapons that's going to cause 
all kinds of havoc. And here, again, with the Destro thing, I don't even show this on, on the video because I didn't even realize that it was there on the review. It has its own computer interface and everything on this. So, again, looks really nice. I like the way the handle moves back and forth. I like how it holds together, but there are some issues for a $27 piece. So, let's wrap this up, and then you guys can get on with your day. All right, so there it is. That is the operator's... What is it called again? The, uh, the Elite Operator Set. Now, full disclosure in this... I mean, I always mention it when something isn't mine that I review, but full disclosure, this is not mine. Now, it's come to the attention on the last video um, that someone just feels that... It shows that you... Like, that you don't know what you're talking about if it's not yours. Like, you should only be reviewing stuff that's yours. That's your opinion. I, I don't fully understand that. That's like saying road and track, you shouldn't um, test cars. You shouldn't review a car because you don't own it. Or you shouldn't review an iPhone or um, a headset because you don't own it. There's a hundred things that get reviewed that people don't own. That's someone's opinion and that's perfectly fine. I, I don't have a problem with it. I, I feel that the, the channel, the community that I have grown, uh, whether it be on the live streams, all the reviews that I've done, you guys can see that I have some sort of knowledge when it comes to uh, toys, articulation, different things like that. So I do want to have full disclosure on that so you guys understand this is not mine. Which again, I kind of had to explain to my buddy that the thing was broken right out of the bat. Again, he wouldn't lend them to me if he was worried about me breaking something uh, on purpose or because I'm just a complete idiot. But I do like it. $28, a little pricey in my opinion for just this suitcase full of stuff. But man, if you just spent hundred bucks on a Mesco Destro and you have that wonderful briefcase with some sort of explosive and everything there, you know what, you may just like it. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. You know the deal, the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, a punk with toys, jump on Instagram. Give me a like there, a follow, whatever you wanna call. That's where I put all my good stuff. That's why I put all my pictures and different things like that. And you know the, group, the Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And last but not least, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, so you're notified every time I do drop a video of Gridiron, which normally won't be mine. Matter of fact, I think I only have two Gridiron guns, but I reviewed enough, I've had enough in hand. I feel like I have an idea of what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Have a wonderful day. Don't go anywhere just yet because it's early right now, all right? Right here is the other Gridiron video, and here's the uh, Gridiron playlist. It's all the other stuff I've, I've reviewed.